How's it going, everybody? Um, just for Ung, I had to put in my roads. Actually, I did it because I like them, but this is the Ung road. I do believe he's the one that made fun of me, or I guess it wasn't really making fun of me, but um, commented about me making roads everywhere. So, this is the Ung road. If it's not him and it's somebody else tell me who the hell it was that said it and I'll rename it to you but I'm going to make a little tiny bridge over my little uh, canal I guess you call this um, and it's going to connect up to this one and this is going up to my base I'm gonna come back up here because I've been kind of working on it and I want your guys' kind of opinion or to kind of work it out with you, I guess. Since I know most of you don't really like to comment. And that's fine. I'm the same way when I watch people play. I don't comment either, even if I have something to say. Um, so don't feel obligated. Um, I'm just terrible at designing, so I like other people's input to kind of help. And talking through it with you guys, uh, kind of helps me decide what the hell I'm doing too. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how to do this glass area here that would look better. Because to me it looks kind of weird having the glass sitting right on the floor. So I'm going to try putting stairs under it here. And see how that works. Okay, good. That turned the corner. Alright, let's go in here and see how that looks. By the way, I found two nether fortresses. I'm going to make a, uh, a railing out here of nether fence because I like the way it looks um, JJ the guy that does my thumbnails um, suggests that I put connect glass from here to there because I couldn't figure out what to do with this area because I'm terrible with uh, roofs and ceilings um, but I got to figure out what I'm going to do for on top of this because I want to put something on top of the glass there before it continues into the other glass. And glass isn't really an issue because I can get it from stone. I can get sand from stone. Um, so I kind of like that idea. Um, but what do you think of that? I don't know about that being a corner piece there. I thought it would look better, but I'm thinking now it looks kind of weird. Um, but that gives me a better view down because here it cuts off, you know. There I can see better. So I think it looks kind of better. Um, the other thing is I have this thing up here that i got to figure out what I'm going to do with. And I have two ideas for it. One is to make kind of like a spiral staircase right here that'll go from, say, here to um, there and just kind of curve out and back around and then put something up there, even if it's some goofy uh, thing just for decoration, maybe a spotlight or something. Um, and I got this hole down here. And I think I'm going to put my brewing station down here. That's what I've got in my head at the moment, at least. Um, I was thinking something along this line, because I always think of brewing potions as being a, a dark type of task. And I don't do it very often. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to line this with uh, nether brick maybe 
And I'm thinking about even going down further and putting like my enchanting area. Let me go ahead and drop down here and break an ankle. Putting like my enchanting area and my brewing area down here. But I'm thinking that that'll look nice kind of transition into that. But I want to leave it open on the sides like it is right now until you get to the the nether brick area. Uh, come back up here and show you. By the way, there is going to be no advancement in technology in this video. Because I have absolutely nothing done. I have been working, trying to get stuff done. And I've been hunting the nether. I've actually found two fortresses. Trying to find frickin' nickel. I can't find frickin' nickel so I can make an electrolyzer. And I've been trying to get um, iron done up so I can start um, rotary craft. And I've been trying to get... Um, stuff done to make a steam boiler I actually have the stuff to make the steam boiler done I managed to get five pieces of steel and five iron plates done today um, which I'm going to use to make a liquid firebox and let's see, I'm going to make this one right here, liquid fuel firebox, um, and I'm going to just make an iron low pressure boiler to put on top of it. I'm sure all of you have seen them made a million times, so I'm not going to waste y'all's time showing you how to make one. I'm just going to make it, tell y'all I'm doing it. Um, also spent some time today out here. I made my cow pen bigger. I had two sheeps that decided that they wanted to join my area. So they got the old cow pen. And Junior's been too busy with playing Dying Light to uh, come and do my chicken aerator for me and I ain't got the iron to make the second hopper for it anyways and I did something kind of dorky and that is I planted this whole big field full of canola seeds not remembering that the things create canola seeds like crazy and I'm not going to need anywhere near that much room for um, I also did a thing of sugar cane so I could get rid of that row of sugar cane I had. I did this the same way I did the wheat by doing the checkerboard pattern thing. And I actually got nothing but sugar cane except for right back there you might see the orange dots which is a sticky reed it gives off um, sticky resin and I wanted to bring something up to you guys that I seen in a video that I actually didn't know which is part of the reason why I haven't done a crop video for IC2 yet is because there's still things that I don't know because of the fact that I do most of my work as you know um, I like to think of it more um, sci scientifically I I like to trial and error it I don't like to do a lot of research which is also part of you know science is checking other people's research, but I feel at least in um, Minecraft, it's something that we tend to do too much of, which is run straight to a wiki, 
or run straight to um, a tutorial video and copy exactly what we see them do. And I've done it in the past and I feel more accomplishment when I figure it out for myself than when I'm just copying somebody else's work. Um, but that doesn't mean that getting information from an outside source after testing or even a little bit before testing is bad. It's just not, you know, basically copying exactly what they did. Because then if something goes wrong, you can't really tell why it went wrong. But what I learned was that there are... Good God, I hope that was not so loud for you guys as it was for me. I thought I had my music turned down. That was very loud. I'm down to 2%, and that sounded loud as hell. Anyways, um, Spiegler, Spiger, um, not sure how to pronounce his name, did a video on crops that explained them in a lot different way than what I know of them. I know of them as far as getting a different level crop. Um, the higher level crop you want means you need to do mix two different crops that are the same or preferably one being a little bit higher. There's a luck chance that you will get a higher level. Well, I learned that there from him that there are also attributes to them. Like, I got this because the attribute for it is the same or very similar to the attributes to sugarcane. So the chances of getting this was a lot higher than if I would have gotten, like, wheat, which is not similar. Now, once I get a uh, crop analyzer I can kind of show you but I would rather you guys go and check out his video and see it from him straight so I'll leave a link to that in the description here to this video and you guys can go check it out um, but I'm going to play around with it a little bit and see. Um, Axel had told me that a little bit about it, but not quite either. I wasn't understanding it the same way or he didn't explain it the same way. Um, what I got from it was that you should try to breed a flower, a wart, um, like a, a food type crop, you know, kind of like what I have here. This has, you know, these tall green stems. This has the short little things. This is a wart. This is completely different. Putting four things that are completely different together like that should give you something different or you'll get, like I did here, an exact same. There's a luck chance and I'm wondering if that's the reason why I haven't gotten gold on the Greg Tech 5 server because on the Greg Tech 6 server I got gold pretty early and the field has kind of gone to the wind because nobody's been over there to take care of it in a long time for me to go back and really check it other than me going back and looking at the video I did showing it off which I probably will do but that kind of shows where I put it not what I used to get it um, 
but as soon as I get the stuff to make the crop analyzer, which will be hopefully the next video, I will spend a little bit of time out here looking at the different attributes to them and see if I can figure it out a little bit better and maybe we can kind of learn together that way um, but that's basically what I've been doing around here um, I do have a couple things to let you know about um, let me come down here so I can get one to show you here by the way why can't you turn stairs sideways we can turn them upside down, but we can't turn them sideways. I wanted to put a stair here that the fat part of it is facing this block to kind of make a door jam like that. Can't do it. I never even realized it until I tried doing it. Um, I'll show you here. Blaze Rod. If you look at the vanilla way of doing it, which is in shapeless... Um, you get two. If you do it with a mortar, you also get two. Which to me doesn't make sense because you're using a tool, you should get a little more. But, if you use a macerator, you get three. Which to me is what you should get if you use the mortar. If you use a grinder from um, rotary craft you actually get six which is crazy um, but if you use a shredder you get two small piles which is half a blaze powder Let's see if I right click on that you get one blaze powder from four of them because they're small piles And I brought that up to Greg on the uh, development channel IRC thing. And he said that's going to get fixed. So I wanted to bring that to your attention that that is something that he's planning on fixing. See, a sag mill will give me four. And a crusher uses the same recipe, so it gets four. Um... So I'm basically just going to do these um, vanilla style for now for the blaze powder that I'm going to need because I'm going to make a uh, fire resist potion. I don't like wearing my uh, hazmat suit in the nether. Um, it, I do believe, will keep me from burning if I get in lava. It'll keep me from getting hurt by blazes if they shoot me I do believe but um, same with the fire potion uh, I don't I like to use them as a uh, a rescue effort I don't drink them the whole time I'm in there mining through walls of netherrack I have them on my hot bar in my inventory and use them if I get caught on fire and I don't think I can survive. The only time that I really use them in there ahead of time is if I'm fighting Blaze because I don't set up spawn traps. Um, I actually will go right into the spawner area, take a fire potion, and sit there and, and beat the hell out of them. Which is kind of dangerous to do, especially because I have no armor or very little at the moment. Um, usually I do it with iron armor, but I'm probably going to do it this time without any. And just see if it works, because if they melee you, their melee hurts. Um, I think it'll knock me down half my health being uh with no armor whatsoever 
I don't remember exactly, but I do believe so. Um, what I'm going to do to let you guys know with the steam thing I'm going to set up here is burn this creosote. Like I said, I didn't want to do, but I'm going to do it because this thing is hungry. It takes a butt ton of energy to run the centrifuge or the shredder. And I don't want to use hammers anymore. And I don't want to hand wash because you get a loss. Um, it's a chance thing on if you're going to get something and what you're going to get for a lot of them. So anything that will give me exactly what I want, I've put in here. Or you're going to get one thing no matter if you centrifuge it or electrolyze it. Um, I don't know if all of you know this or not, so I will show you. He added where you can now centrifuge and electrolyze just about every impure or purified dust. And sometimes they're the same thing. Like this one will give you magnesium or magnesium. But for other ones, um, is copper one of them? Yeah. See, if I electrolyze it, I get gold. But if I centrifuge it, I get cobalt. And I'm one cobalt from having a cobalt ingot. So I'm going to go ahead and centrifuge the copper to get the cobalt. Plus, I like using cobalt for tools. Um, but that thing takes a butt ton of power. And because my generator only has 10 output, it takes a long time of sitting here basically doing what I just did over and over and over to get through it. Um, one cycle of that bat box, I think I'll do like four or five pieces, and it's about the same for the shredder. Um, so I really need to get more power. And I will show you, hopefully in the next video I'll have it done, um, exactly how I'm going to use the steam for power. I don't have anywhere near enough iron to make a um, turbine from Railcraft yet, which is my ultimate goal until we get a Greg Tech turbine of some kind. Um, for anybody that does check the forums, I did put in my request, my monthly request for an ore washer from Greg Tech, from Greg. So that has been done. Hopefully we will get one. I don't want to make the IC2 because I'm trying to stay away from IC2 machines. There is a recipe for it still. Um whether you change the config to turn off Greg Tech or IC2 machines or not, but I don't want to make one. So for right now, I'm hand washing or centrifuging now all of my ores. Also, there was talk this morning on the development channel about making a crucible or the crucible allow pipes so you can pipe in water to make this process a lot easier a lot quicker because sitting there with stacks of ore that needs to be done bucking it bucketing it in and doing three and then bucketing it back in again gets very time consuming and there's automated ways if anybody's seen it in my Greg Tech uh, 6 server videos. Uh, Quiet made a setup with uh, dispensers that um, shot the ore in. That if we could um, pipe water into it, it could be an automatic ore washer that didn't take any power, it just took redstone. 
So hopefully next month we will at least have the Crucible to make that better. I um, hope you guys enjoyed my rambling and talking about how terrible I am at designing. Um, that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Take it easy. Later.